Hi, Andrew Chris is here with AudioBro. I'd like to share with you a video demonstration to help you have a better understanding of our CC table script. Um, this script is included in almost all of LAS's long articulation patches like the legato, sustains, trills, tremolos, and sordino patches. Um, in this video, I'll explain the percent of CC knob right here um, using a simple musical example, as well as going over the CC tables and other features. Uh, but first, just in case you didn't know, um, CC is short for continuous controller. And continuous controllers, uh, like your mod wheel or pitch bend controllers, can really add life to a MIDI mockup. Uh, basically, the sliders and knobs on your keyboard controllers are most likely able to send out CC information and last responds to that information, yielding drastically different performances. Okay, so let's start with our percent of CC knob over here and its associated on off button right here. For this demonstration, I've already assigned CCs to the knob and on off buttons here so I can control them remotely with my sliders. The percent CC knob basically allows you to reduce your dynamics, uh, your performance by CC1 or your mod wheel by a certain percentage. Um, for example, well, let's say you performed a part that you really like, you like this performance, but you wish it was just a little lower in dynamics. Well, just by turning on this button here and lowering the, the percent of CC knob, you can get the same performance uh, as you did originally, but at a lower dynamic. Um, so here, let's play a quick MIDI part using the violins, Divisi Legato, Tremolos patch um, at, the, at a fairly high dynamic range. Okay, here it goes. Okay, now I'll play the same part over, but this time I'll turn the CC knob all the way to, let's say, 40%. Okay, so as you can hear, the performance was the same, uh, but with reduced dynamics. Um, I, I wanna stress that this is different than simply lowering the volume because you're actually affecting which dynamic samples are being heard. Also, this is different from simply subtracting a CC value from your performance because by using a percentage, you maintain the balance ratio, uh, the balance ratio of your, your original dynamics performance. Um, also, a little trick here, uh, a big time saver is to simply change the percent CC knob for different Divisi tracks um, if you play them all in one go. Uh, this adds a little dynamic variation between the Divisi's so they are not as quite as parallel dynamically. Okay, so let's continue with this interface here. Most prominently, you'll see this table. Um, this table is actually two tables. It represents the dynamic layers table and the layer volume table. Uh, the dynamic layers table represents the samples, the dynamic samples that were actually recorded and which ones are being heard throughout the CC range. This table represents the volume at which those samples will be heard. So you have the piano all the way through forte samples, and then here you have the volume at which they will be heard. So if you have it set up like this along the bottom, you will basically set it up so that your, um, your, no matter what your CC range is, you'll be triggering a piano sample. However, if you set up the layer like this, this volume layer, that piano sample will play louder and louder and louder and louder and louder until throughout the range of the, the CC1. So this is to dictate which samples are being heard. This is to dictate how loud they're being heard. Um, of course, when you draw something, you can always smooth it out using the smooth knob button, and then you can save it to a preset. Um, you can also save your, all your entire settings here to disk so that you can share it with your other patches. I just want to caution that we've gone through a lot of care to set up defaults, uh, the, the default patterns, um, the tables. Those tables cannot be erased. You can draw over them and then you can just always go back to default and they'll be redrawn. So you never lose your defaults, but you have 10 different, uh, nine different additional preset banks to store them in. 
Uh, lastly, but not least, we have this curve knob. Um, this is a great way to give you some starting points from which to draw your, your own uh, CC curves. Um, you can go from a straight line to concave, convex, and all sorts of fun stuff. So, all right. I hope this has given you a, a good idea of how this operates, and uh, thanks for listening. Take care.